All right, you guys, so today I'm gonna to show you another fun design with our Jelly Manicure colors. And I've already gone ahead and sculpted out an extension here, and I've used our gel products, and I've also combined some of our glitters in it. So I've filed and finished the nail, I cleansed the nail already with swipe, and now I'm gonna go in with a coat of our Protein Bond. So Protein Bond is gonna give us that really good adhesion when we're doing our design work, or for underneath your top coat to really make sure that your top coats adhere well. This also gives me a little bit more of a smoother surface to do my design on. What I'm gonna be using today is I'm gonna start with our overdrive, and I'm running my brush through my paint. I'm just gonna kind of wipe out some of that excess. So now if you kind of do a little tester on your tile, you can see how thin that line is gonna be. I'm gonna start just kind of sweeping down. I'm just gonna kind of pull down, kind of round it out just slightly, coming in a little bit, and then coming back out. So I'm ha I have just a slight indentation there in my line. I'm just gonna come back down and just kind of round out the base of that. Come through and then I'm gonna sweep back in to almost connect those lines there. Now I'm gonna give that corner just a little bit more detail, a little bit more of a point almost. And then I'm gonna just kind of round in the inside of it just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna set this into the light because I'm liking how that design looks. So I wanna set it into place so that I don't smudge it on my next set. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna come into my second wing. It's almost mirroring. So mirroring my other, um, my first wing here. And then same thing, give myself just a slight indent and then back out to a point. So we're gonna end it right there. And again, just kinda of come in and round up to where they connect. Sometimes if I'm starting to get a little shaky, I'm actually clenching my brush too much or I'm maybe even holding my breath. I do that sometimes when I do intricate designs like that. So just stop for a second, release your hand, let it kind of relax a little bit, take a deep breath, and then come back to your design. So a lot of times that'll take care of my little bit of shakiness or it'll help a little bit. So loosen your grip a little bit on your brush. And sometimes again, that'll help with the shaky feeling. Okay, so again, I like where that's at. I'm gonna set it into the light and freeze it into place. All right, so I'm gonna come in with my jelly paints. So I'm gonna be using whatever you like and fickle pickle. All right, so I'm gonna start with, let me start with the pink color. I'm just gonna take a little, almost a little pearl on the end of my brush here and I'm gonna just start to fill in. All right, so again, just filling in kind of the bottom half of our wing. You really can see those glitters from underneath really kind of popping through. That's one of the fun things about working with the jelly paints is that you see everything from underneath. So really create a pretty background for this using those glitters underneath. So I'm gonna start to just kind of blend those together and I'm just kind of doing little circular motions just to kind of fade them together so I don't have that sharp line in between. So now you can see it's kind of blended a little bit better. With the jellies, I tend to like to give them a little bit longer just to make sure everything is set into place and I'm not gonna smudge them. Now I'm gonna do a little bit more detailing just to give us a, a little bit more of a finished look. So now I'm actually gonna switch over to my number one brush. This is a smaller liner, so I can do a little bit more detail with it. And as I'm working here, I'm keeping my brush a little bit more straight up and down. I'm not using the long edge of it, I'm using more the point of the brush. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing down here. I'm just gonna come right through. And again, round out the inside here. I think that is about where I want it. So again, I'm gonna freeze that for 10 seconds. We're gonna give this a little bit of a body and the antenna. So I'm just gonna start right in the center and just kind of sweep my brush up. Okay, again, quick 10 second freeze. So our last little detail that we're gonna add are just some little spots right around the edge. And I'm gonna use our white. 
And then for this, I'm using a really small dotting tool. So when I'm making polka dots, I like to kind of test the size of it on my own nail so I can see I'm not gonna make too big of a dot. And again, you're gonna see those dots are gonna get smaller and smaller as you go, which actually works out perfect because that's exactly what we want. So I'm just gonna kind of come around the outside of our wing. So again, you guys, as I work, I kind of stop and take a look at how things are looking because sometimes when you're really focusing on that section that you're working on, you need to stop and just kind of take a look from a little farther back so that you can see the whole design kind of coming together. This time I'm gonna pop it into the light for just another 10 seconds and then we'll top coat. I'm using our Ultimate Finish. It's great for doing over design work because it's gonna give you a really nice high shine. It's got a little bit more thickness to it than um, say our manicure top coat and when I'm doing some of my artwork I actually like a little bit of a thicker top coat because it'll help to kind of self level in between kind of that the line work and things like that so it's going to give you a really nice smooth surface finish okay so we're going to go ahead into the light we're going to do a full cure of 60 seconds and then I'll show you the finished nail